In Ecclesiastes chapter 9, Solomon spends 12 verses talking about death and how we should live knowing that we will die. What's interesting is that right in the middle of these verses, he spends several verses talking about enjoying life. Here's one part of, of that. He says in verse 7, Go, eat your bread with joy, and drink your wine with a merry heart. Enjoy life with the wife whom you love. So why does Solomon suggest these things? One reason is that he simply wants us to live with intentionality. He wants us to enjoy the gifts that God's blessed us with. I talked about that in the last devotional. But there's a second reason as well. And in his commentary on Ecclesiastes, uh, David Gibson says this. He says, I find it interesting that verses 7 through 10 are full of wedding imagery. Food, drinks, white garments, oil, a husband and a wife. That's because the Bible's picture of the best that life can offer us is simply a foretaste of the wedding banquet that is still to come. Of the wedding banquet still to come, the beauty and grandeur and the glory of which cannot be put into words. And so it's very possible here that Solomon has this dual purpose. In addition to enjoying life, uh, in enjoying the simple things of life and living with intentionality. He also wants us to do these things because they will remind us of what is to come in the future in heaven. Heaven is going to be an amazing place, and so I don't want you to think of it as like a boring church service with, with floating babies with wings. Heaven is going to be enjoyable. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a celebration. And so there are good things coming for those who are headed to heaven. And so when you're doing these quote unquote enjoyable activities, we are actually giving ourselves a little reminder of what is to come. Since heaven is going to be a wonderful place, the biggest pleasures that you have now are really just a small picture, a small taste of what is to come. The biggest enjoyments that you have now are a foretaste of what is in store for you in heaven. And so don't feel bad about enjoying life here on earth. But as you enjoy life, remember that it is showing you in a very small way what heaven will be like one day.